Hey guys, sasa ni we wadako. Hey, hey. Sasa ndio nimeona nyumba ya William Samuel Ruto vizuri. By the way. Yaani Ruto ameamua kujengea Kelvin Kiptum nyumba inakaa bila nataka. Yaani anajengea nini Kelvin Kiptum nyumba ya mambaya ambao tena after ametoka kwa ambao tena nyumba ambao ati ya digital. Ile nyumba iko na spring. Mhm. Mm iko na si spring, iko na ini ni na tembeanga hii. Hii nyumba ni kama zile nyumba za kanjo. Kama wale mko kazi mnafanya kazi za kanjo. Hii zile manyumba za kanjo zinakuanga na black na yellow. Ni yellow ama ni green kitu kama hiyo. Green yellow, green yellow a black kitu kama hiyo. Na maybe William Samuel Ruto ataika hiyo kala. Nyumba mbili zinafanana, zinakatu za government dunia nzima. Hiyo yani nchi nzima ya Kenya, mtu atakuwa anapita tu hapa anasema hata stage mtu ataenda mbali. Hata anataka kwenda hata uliza, unaenda wapi? Kwa naenda kwa marehemu Kelvin Kiptu. Oh, ule mwenye kuna nyumba alijengea nyumba za serikali. Yaani hapa tingekuwa ni kwa barabara, mahali stage iko. Unasikia tu mtu anasema niweke kwa nyumba ya gava. Mhm. Mm Ladies, siko mbaya kuongea. Unajua sometimes simshani na kuanga nzuri. By the way, mimi nilikuwa nafikiria Ruto atateke time yake. As for me, my opinion, sijaongea na mgea kwa ubaya. As for me, my opinion, nilikuwa nafikiria Ruto atachukua tu muda wake like kama one month, two months, achukue tu nyumba nzuri, nyumba kama nyumba zenye ziko Karen, eh, kileleshwa, eh, eh, yani nyumba poa poa. You understand? You understand? Nyumba poa, nyumba tinachukua hata kama ni 3 million million ama nilikuwa nafikiria tu Ruto atamnunulia tu nyumba tu aseme hii nimekununulia asa gift nyumba tu kubwa hata kama ni ya 6 million hata kama ni ya 3 million hata kama ni ya 1 million unaona at least amenunua alafu hiyo shamba as for me yenye marehemu alinunua kama ingelikuwa ni mimi naenda na jenga pale shule naenda naweka pale shule ya primary na shule ya secondary na inakuwa private as for me hiyo shamba yenye nani amenu unajua naeka aje unajua hiyo shule ningeandika aje ningeandika Kelvin Kiptum Primary School Kelvin Kiptum Secondary School Moto The owner of this school died in road accident Hiyo ni moto Imagine moto Imagine shule inaitwa tu Kelvin Kiptum Primary School Kelvin Kelvin Kiptum Secondary School Ye ni shule itajulikana. Mhm. Hiyo 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 uwanja moja bibi angeweka shule, angeweka shule ya gava ye nini? Si ya kanjo, angeweka shule ya private na shule ya yani zote ni private, eh, secondary na na nini? Na primary of which ingesaidia watoto hapo area. Alafu ila nyingine anajenga plots. Unaona? As for me my opinion, angejenga tu plot anajenga plot hizo nyumba na hizo nyumba zinakuwa tu zinaandikwa Kelvin Kiptum plot Kelvin Kiptum plot unajua sasa mtu akikuja pale anasema uko kwa plot apartment gani niko kwa plot ya Kelvin Kiptum mtu atajua anasema oh Kelvin Kiptum marehemu uko kwa hizo plot eh mtu mtu anaulizwa unaenda shule gani mtu anasema eh, my school name it's called Kelvin Kiptum primary school school motto the owner of this school died hiyo ni school motto alafu code ilo anaekanga ilo anaekanga post pio box unajua pio box wangeka nini pio box wangeka pio box 1999 hivyo unaeka 1999 pio box unaona lakini sasa kweli unajua kila mtu anakuanga na opinion yake kila mtu anakuanga na akili yake mimi ingekuwa hivyo mimi ningeka hiyo shule hivyo walai shule yangu ingeitwa hivyo na hii shule ingebeba watu watu wengi sana watu wengi sana wangekuja na watu watoto wengi wangesoma hivi hata sasa watoto wetu tunachukua watoto wetu tunapeleka kwa kwanza yake boarding boarding na day scholar na hivyo hata si tungebeba watoto wetu our future tunasema eh Ma, baba unataka kujoin shule gani? Nataka kwenda Kelvin Kiptum Secondary School. Imagine high school. Ingekuwa iko sawa. Hiyo shamba angeacha tunayo hivyo, ajenge tu plot 
na ajenge tu shule alafu kama William Samui Ruto angekuwa tu na hiyo angechukua tu pesa nzuri na ananunulia baba nyumba ndogo ama anajengea tu kwa hiyo bomo baba kanyumba tu kazuri hata kama ni kanyumba ka, ka 600,000 lakini kanyumba tu kazuri kadogo ka one bedroom tu kazuri alafu anaenda ananunulia bibi yake because sasa bibi yake ako na ako na bibi ako na watoto ako na kila kitu angeambia tu bibi yake mimi nimekununulia nyumba 6 million ama nyumba 2 million hii ni yako i bought for you lakini sasa Ruto na anaenda kujenga vitu vingine za chuma chuma like seriously. Hizo nyumba ni ya chuma. Mimi hizi nyumba za digital za Ruto, ni hizi nyumba za biashara. Ruto amechukua muundo muundo wa nusu mkate ndio anajengea bibi yake nyumba. Like seriously, hata kama ni yes, yes Ruto amefanya vizuri but hiyo ni kama ni madharau. How can you? Hata hata kama Kelvin angekuanga jenga nyumba kama hiyo, hangejenga nyumba kama hiyo. Ruto hata fadhali angeacha tu angeacha tu ashughulike wa muziki vizuri wakimaliza na na take time yake kama president ana take time vizuri akishachukua time yake anasema mama unataka nyumba type gani baba tukujengee nyumba type gani baba venye tu kipchoga alikuwa ameka umeme hivyo na ruta angekuja na nyumba design poa aseme basi hii ni yako hii ni yako different houses but ruta what he did jamani Ruto anachukua tu nyumba muundo moja hivi na anataka kujenga nyumba zote hata pale mtu haizipotea mhm kwa Kelvin Kiptum mtu hata potea atakuwa anaenda pale anasema ah mtu hata ada, ada, boyfriend girlfriend wamesimama wanapiga simu hello babe uko wapi imagine nimesimama hapa kwa nyumba za kancho really really No, Ruta hajafanya poa. Alafu tumeki mata to be the worst. Hizo nyumba ni za mbao. Lazima tu complain. Actually, as for us lazima tu complain. For me mimi nime complain and for me nimesikia vibaya. My opinion nimesikia vibaya. Ruta anachukuaje vitu kama hizo kwele na je? Hiyo nyumba ikinyesheo na mvua. Ama anajenga alafu achukue hata ama achukue tile sabandike kwa hiyo plywood ama ni ni waitanga aje three ply sama ni plywood whatever aweke hizo eh, nini waweke nini waweke hiyo tiles wakuja wa, wa, watengeneze hmm? no sometimes we need no mimi nimekata tunazika maremo on saturday of which tunabakia siku tatu tu peke yake you understand siku tatu tu peke yake tumalizane na stories za kina za za wa hero lakini sasa ke, nini, mimi ingekuwa tu upande wangu niko na speaker naweza kuongea niseme mr speaker sir hilo hiyo nyumba si nzuri baba sisi hatuna but hiyo nyumba ni umejengea Kelvin Kiptum si nzuri ungekuwa wewe ni president mzuri president yule ambaye anasikia kilio cha, wan, cha wananchi president ambaye anajua nyie kweli huyu ni mwananchi wangu ako na shida hivi na hivi unge kaa chini na bibi yake after umemaliza kuuzika mtoto wetu ungekaa chini na bibi yake unamuuliza mama unataka nyumba muundo gani mama unataka nikufanyie nini babake unataka nini babake unataka kama government of kama president wetu ruto ni baba yetu sana tu rule lazima angeenda auliza ndio bibi aseme nilikuwa nataka nyumba ina nini ruto anunua hata kama hangenunua angemjengea kwa hiyo boma nyumba tu design nzuri hata kama ni ni 500,000 hata kama ni 1 million una na nyumba tu nzuri na anasema sasa hii uwanja yenye mzee wako amenunua mama unataka tukusaidiaje kama mama angesema mimi kama ingekuwa ni mimi sasa sasa tunaongea upande wangu kama ni mimi ningekuwa ni mimi bibi ya kitu mimi sina nyota mimi sinanga nyota but kama ni mimi ningekuwa bibi ya kitu kitu ningesema mimi ile uwanja yenye mzee wangu amenunua anaenda anaangalia hapo katikati ni nini hiko yanaweza kuweka anaenda anajenga shule anajenga primary na anajenga secondary inakuwa ya private na hiyo shule inaandikwa pale kubwa na maandishi kubwa Kiptum primary school Kiptum secondary school eh I'm going to Kelvin Kiptum Primary School, Kelvin Kiptum Secondary School. Everything in akwa Kelvin Kiptum Kiptum Kiptum. Alafu moto. Lazima school moto ikuwe pale. School moto, moto. Unaandika eh una school moto. Goja. Pio box 1994, 19 na 1999. Hmm? Unaona? Hiyo ni kiti ingekuwa vizuri na kiti ingekuwa kwa silabas. As for me my opinion, but what Ruto did, my friend, 
No, Ruta hajafanya kitu nzuri bwana. Zile nyumba ni za mbao, zile nyumba ni za chuma, ile nyumba ni chuma alafu ameka na mbao, alafu tumeki mara nduvua itanyesha na ile nyumba ita last. Haita last kae pale maybe forever. Ni nyumba maybe itanyeshewa, alafu mnajua tu hali ya Kenya vile inakuwa mvua inanyesha vile inataka, inanyesha, 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 ni ile nyumba tikiaribika kitu si nyumba nakuja kufanya repair. Fundi wale wamekuja wale fundi ni wengi, you understand? Wale fundi ni wengi. Kuna fundi original na kuna pale fundi fake. Fundi, kitu anataka kitu haraka haraka, watatengeneza kitu inakaa fake. Hiyo kitu itakaa itakaa tutaiona ni poa lakini itakaa fake. Like seriously Hiyo nyumba yote ni chuma na Ruta hajafanya nzuri. Ruta angejenga tu nyumba yake, a promote watu wa mabati, a mabati atanunua. A promote watu wa mawe, a promote watu wa miti, a promote kila mtu a promote. Unaona? Anasema sasa mawe zikuje, kila kitu zikuje. Nyumba ianze kutoka chini mawe. Kufika juu hata hapa katikati hata kama angegonga mabati. Ni bayupindu hata kama ya nyumba china ange Foundation inganza na mawe kufika katikati alafu kujua malizia na mabati haina shida brother haya kitu ingekuwa tu sawa anaweka mbao ndani alafu anaweka mabati juu alafu anaweka milango ya chuma anaweka kila kitu ya chuma na hiyo nyumba ingekuwa quality lakini Ruto what Ruto did Ruto na yeye na ameenda tu anachukua tu kila kitu kutoka chini ni chuma 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 mpaka juu hiyo nyumba ni ya kungoa kaeni mkijua hiyo nyumba ni ya kungoa hizo nyumba ni zile za za America za kubeba Ruta takasirika tuna hii uchumi ya Kenya. Hata ngoa tu nyumba wenyewe tu. Hata ngoa tu. Angechanganyisa nyumba nzuri. By the way ilikuwa tu my opinion sikukuwa na ubaya. But Ruto kitu amefanya on my behalf. Si nzuri anyway. Acha tu niende nikure ugari. Chatika pike ugari nitafute mwisho ya nyingine. Eh, mwanzi, ni haramu.